Uh, Coach, thanks so much for joining us on the call today. If you take a minute to tie up the win uh, on SMU, and congratulations, first of all, on, on uh, uh, representing the West Division and what you expect to see uh, Saturday to face ECU with the uh, Liberty Bowl. Well, thanks very much, and uh, really proud of our football team, all of our coaches, um, you know, the, the players. It was a it was a great day Saturday to to be able to see the celebration and the, the excitement and joy that uh, um, you know those guys were able to display after that win. And it was a hard fought one win. It took 60 minutes. I had some adversity with a lightning delay and. Uh, you know, playing against a really talented SMU squad. But, uh, uh, you know, our guys all through the season have, have continued to work, have responded uh, to every challenge. And, uh, you know, I tell you, I'm just really proud of the progression that we've seen uh, throughout this season. And we were able to co- accomplish a goal there uh, there last Saturday by, uh, by winning the West Division. Um, you know, going undefeated in West Division play. And, you know, that sets up for our for our senior day coming up, uh, coming up this Saturday. And we've got a, a tremendous group of guys that – uh, you know, have, have been the winningest uh, group of seniors in Memphis Tiger history. And so uh, this will be their last guaranteed opportunity at the Liberty Bowl. So we want to make sure we send them out, um, you know, in, in the right fashion. And we're playing a East Carolina team that is also very explosive. Uh, you know, it will be a, a, a great challenge for us. And, uh, you know, I know our guys are, are looking forward to, to going to work and uh, trying to continue on our progression uh, to become a better football team. Questions for Coach Norvell, please. Star one on your telephone keypad to join the queue that the operator will introduce you. We'll go next to Mark Nardici with the Philadelphia Inquirer. Hey, Coach. Uh, obviously, uh, I would think, even though you're preparing for a game, that you'll, you'll watch the U- UCF USF game. Um, would you guys have anybody there, physically there, scouting them? No, uh, we're not. You're not allowed it in, in college ranks to, to uh, advance scout games. Uh, other than you know, just watching films. So no, we no, we would not have that. How how much how closely how tough is it? Because you're preparing for a game. Will you guys get a chance to watch that game and kind of see, you know, who you're going to be playing you know, in the championship? You know, in college football, you know, you you get so few opportunities uh, to be able to play this game. And this game Saturday is a big game for our program. It's an opportunity to to go out and try to get our tenth win. Uh, you know, we're playing a team that is very talented, one that is that is uh, capable of coming in and uh, uh, presenting a, a a great challenge for us. And so. Uh, you know, it's going to take all of our effort, all of our focus to go out and, and uh, uh, to put ourselves in a position to be successful. So uh, we know that we have one more game after this one. And uh, that's a great, uh, um, you know, it's, it is a great opportunity for our football team. We know that we will be playing for a championship. But if we do not progress this week as a team, then, uh, you know, I don't think that we'll be in the best position to have success the next week. So uh, all of our focus is going to go on to East Carolina here throughout this week. Thank you. Thank you. We'll go next to Ronnie Woodward with Greenville Daily Reflector. Hey, Coach. Sorry, kind of the piggyback, piggyback off of that. Some, uh, do you do you worry at all, or, or will, will there be an emphasis on practice this week as far as not looking ahead and this game kind of sandwiched between what you just did last week and then obviously what's ahead next week? You know, I mean, it, the the message really does not change for us. I mean, you know, our focus is is 100 on on our daily improvement. And uh, you know, this this week and this opportunity is a big one. Uh, like I said, there's there's a lot to play for. And uh, you know, this is you know, our kids take a great deal of pride in uh, you know opportunity to play at the Liberty Bowl. Uh, you know, all of our goals are there in front of us. And uh, you know, but it takes us to progress this week and and to maximize the opportunity against East Carolina. Um, and, and, you know, they turn on film and they, they know what they see. They see an explosive team, one that is coming off a big win against Cincinnati. And, and so, uh, you know, we've got to, we've got to put forth our best effort. And, you know, we're, we know that, uh, that the game the following week will be there and we don't know who we're going to play. We don't know any of the, any of those details yet. So, um, you know, for all we control is, is going out there and putting forth our best effort to have a chance to be successful on our senior day uh, come Saturday morning. And does it help with it being senior day? I mean, ECU just had its senior day this past Saturday and got a big win. I mean, your seniors obviously will be motivated by just that whole experience and event and everything, I'm assuming, right? No, no question. And this is, you know, we played we play well at home this year. And right now, uh, you know, another goal that we had had is to go undefeated at the Liberty Bowl. And so if we uh, can go out there and find a way to put ourselves in position to be successful, uh, that's that's another goal that we can uh, that we can check off the list. And so uh, our kids are going to be motivated. We get to play in front of our home crowd. 
um, you know, this is a uh, it's a big day, and uh, you know we're we're definitely gonna uh, you know work hard to put our best foot forward. Okay, thanks, Coach. Thank you. We'll go next to Dan Tutorial with WakeUpCallDT.com. Good afternoon, Coach. How are you? Doing well, Dan. How about yourself? Doing well. Uh, to look at last season, getting eight wins and advancing to a bowl game. This season, you have nine, an opportunity for a tenth. You're going to go to a bowl game. You have this championship in front of you for the American Athletic. Just what you can say about how quickly things have progressed at Memphis and, and how proud you can be and not only, you know, your veterans on the team, but the young players coming in that they've bought into you right away. And, and obviously there's been dividends for that. No, uh, it's it's been an incredible journey, and that's uh, one that you know, there was a lot of turnover when we when we got here. Uh, you know, we had to replace the first round draft pick quarterback. You know, there was uh, you know obviously the coaching change. You know, we've had 35 freshmen that have played for us in our first two years. Um, you know, it's uh, you know we've had to bring in some junior college players, and there's been a great mix. And the thing that I tell you is that the the, the young men that were here uh, that uh, you know, allowed us an opportunity to come in and coach them, and the uh, and the, the the fine young men that believed enough in, in the staff, the program to join it, and uh, you know to be able to continue to progress uh, this program on the track that that I believe that we're going has been uh, has been fun to watch, fun to be a part of. So. Uh, you know, I'm really proud of this team. I'm proud of our coaches. Uh, you know, the support of our community and who we represent. Uh, you know, it has been a it has been a a great a great couple of years. And uh, you know, we're not done yet. You know, it is great to uh, be able to accomplish one of the goals that we started out this season with. But uh, there's still uh, so much more to play for. And uh, you know, we we're, we're excited about the opportunity for sure. The West Division has been represented by three different teams, from Houston to Navy to now yourself in Memphis. Just what you can say about representing the city of Memphis, Tennessee, and what it means to you to know that, like you said, for sure you're going to have that extra game to play. Well, I mean, it's uh, you always tell people the greatest thing about being the head coach at the University of Memphis is who we represent. And this community has been incredible. I mean, the way that they've welcomed, um, you know, our family, this this team. I mean, the the players that we have. Um, you know, we know we represent something much bigger than ourselves. And uh, you know, to be able to uh, to go out there and, and to to claim the West Division championship, uh, to know that uh, that we get to play one more game together as a team. Uh, you know, that's that's a special it's, it's a special occasion. And so, uh, uh, you know, our, our guys, they were, it, it was fun to watch them celebrate. It was fun to, to be able to take that picture, you know, after the game and know all the work that went in to accomplishing that one goal. But, you know, at the end of the day, uh, you know, we're still, we're still on, on our, on our mission and the journey to, to accomplish all of our goals. And so we know we've got to, got to continue to work and, and keep, uh, you know, keep progressing as a team to, to get to that point. Thank you, coach. And congratulations. Thank you, sir. Take one more for Coach Norvell, please. We'll go next to Brian Moss with TigerSportsReport.com. Hey, Coach. Um, talk about the, the defense, because like, you're you guys did a very good job against Sutton and Quinn, who average a combined 15 catches, and you know you only allowed them to have five catches. Uh, what what made you guys so successful against those two? You know, I tell you, I was really proud of, uh, you know, especially our, our corners, all of our defensive back, but our two corners, you know, Tito Windham and uh, T.J. Carter. You know, we challenged those guys this past week. Uh, you know, we knew that we were going to put them in some difficult situations, and uh, you know, they they totally embraced it and they they rose to the rose to the challenge uh, and, and performed at an extremely high level. Uh, those were two uh, two great receivers and guy and guys that will be playing this game for a long time. But uh, you know, I, I loved I, I loved the competitive spirit that our guys showed and um you know we you know they they did have a couple of plays uh, against us but you know, we we challenged them for every one of them and so that's that was something that I was really uh you know excited about when I when I came back and you, you see it on the field but then you come back and watch it again and uh just the confidence that that, that our two corners uh, you know, played with uh, against those guys was was pretty special to see I right, appreciate your time and thank you first thanks so Coach, thank you so much for the time today and all season long. I will talk to you once more before we advance to the championship game, but happy Thanksgiving to you in the meantime, to you and the Tigers. All right, happy Thanksgiving to everybody, and thanks so very much.